Welcome to our channel. Here we explore the ancient wisdom of Siddha Vaidya. Today we'll plunge into the fascinating world of Vada. According to Siddha Vaidya, this universe was an ocean of Chittam from which came the masculine and feminine which in turn gave birth to the five elements. From the five elements came the three humors, which are basically air, fire and water. In this episode, we will explore Vardam further. Let us briefly review the intriguing concepts of the three elements, Vardam, Pitam and Kafam. These concepts may have confused you initially, but fear not, we will simplify them and explore their significance from a Siddhavaidya perspective. I remember feeling completely lost when I first heard about Vadam, Pitam and Kafam. But now, with a deeper understanding, they seem to complement each other and align with my medical knowledge. The human body is a remarkable system of systems, from cells to tissues, organs, and ultimately the entire body. It's a delicate orchestration, collating information from all these components is no easy task, but our innate human intelligence takes care of it effortlessly, functioning at an unconscious level. Our cellular intelligence organizes and governs these complex processes with a unique software. Siddha medicine recognizes three components of this software, Vadam, Pitam and Kafam. Each of these are responsible for a specific aspect of our functions as well as our well-being. Understanding how they interact is key to achieving and preserving the body's intrinsic order or homeostasis. Categorized as doshas by the ancient sages, they form the control system of our entire being. Among these, Vadam is the driving force behind all movement, both macroscopic and microscopic. From locomotion that helps us to move physically to the movements of the internal organs such as the circulatory and respiratory systems to the movements within the cells, Vadam reigns supreme. Imbalances in Vadam can disrupt the system, leading to diseases and ailments. Vadam's impact extends beyond mere movement. It plays a crucial role in resource management and survival. It controls accessibility and availability of resources and the waste disposal within the body. Truly, the primary goal of any living organism is survival and Vadam helps us achieve it by facilitating movement and defense. Nerve control, endocrine regulation, electrolyte balance and countless other layers of regulatory mechanisms work together harmoniously providing us with the ultimate balance, homeostasis for our well-being. And Vada is an integral part of this homeostatic 
mechanism. The intestines, the main site of boredom, exert control over the central nervous system through the nerve cells, an intricate process of nerves residing within the layers of the intestines. The microbiota or the bacteria, fungus and other symbiotic organisms residing inside the intestines within the lumen also contributes to this control, producing molecules that exert influence in the entire nerve system. Wadham's main function is clear now, controlling resource availability and waste management. It's like the body's input-output management system, ensuring a survival and overall well-being. These Siddha concepts about the human body, simplified and easily grasped, will benefit many students. They unveil the beauty and complexity of our being, offering a new perspective on health and balance. Remember, it is not just about me sharing information with you. It's about all of us connecting, sharing and supporting each other. I encourage you to smash the like button and subscribe if you haven't done so already. Leave comments, ask questions and engage with this endeavor. I'll see you in the next video.